Right then, let's get this car started and let's uh, take it for a little drive. And I'll tell you what I think. Right, here we go. Obviously, we're at Washington Golf Course here. Uh, that's why I just quickly did my review, as you can see here. And as we've got no aircon today and it's quite warm, um, nearly 20 degrees, the old fashioned aircon has been deployed. So, what's my thoughts so far? Well, as you can see on the video, I do like the actual look of the car and the inside is very basic but if you can look past that um if you can look past that kind of basicness and just get say aircon with the car um it's all you need really i mean it's all i sorry i just gotta read just my microphone it's all i ever need um me personally and i i'm only kind of giving you my opinion in this car i mean once you take for a test drive which a lot of because it's coming out of lockdown you might get what's known as an unassisted test drive. So you get a better impression of the car without someone talking about it all the time. Um, and my impression of this car so far, I've got to say, I'm, I do like it. Um, we were, we was looking at one of these before we looked at the Kia Rio because we wanted something that was just small, five door, and easy to drive and cheap to insure and run. And this thing, at the minute, is, is would have been perfect, really. Um, Though I would have probably gone for the more higher spec model and uh, larger engine um, because I don't think this has got a turbo in it. Um, it. I would imagine it would struggle with a family of four or maybe four adults in the car, uh, being only a little one litre. But you know, I'm only hazarding a guess here because at the end of the day, I can't I can't say without ever really trying it. But you know, it's. It, it's all right. I mean, it's quite well planted on the road. There's no real. Um, it, 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 it's not massively sharp like a Fiesta, say, going around corners and agile. But it, it doesn't roll big as well. You know, it's not. Uh, it doesn't roll around the corners as much as you'd think. Um, but it's not as precise as say something like a Fiesta. But in terms of you know, no frills motoring, then yeah, I've got to say this thing's it is pretty good. Now, I'm going to just drive on the dual carriageway so you can hear it if there's any tyre roar or anything like that. I'll, I'll get an impression of the noise that it makes and the speed that it can get up to, really. Um, because, as I say, I mean, in, in the first couple of the gears, it's no slave. I mean, you do get up the, right, uh, the speed range quite quickly, but, you know, this car's not designed for kind of down the track or drag racing or anything like that. It is just a, an A to B car. To me, uh, it's, it's a nice looking car and it's, it's, it's comfortable to ride in. Now in terms of the actual road noise that I mentioned, it does have some road noise about it. You do hear the tyres uh, at speed and it, I don't, I don't, it's, it's hard to say really because, you know, what do you expect from a car that, you know, like a small car really? I mean, obviously you, you get that in all sorts of small cars. I get it in the Micra, um, but I've got to admit the Micra seems a bit more well insulated than this one. And that's like a 10 year old car really. But coming up on the bypass here, I mean, okay, 
overtaking. Well, I mean, you get you there. I mean, Christ, it does, it does accelerate a little, but you do run out of poke if you go up a hill. Which I have done them um, kind of when I'm on the A1 towards uh, near the Angel North, you have a hill, and it was taking its time going up there. But yeah, I've got a, I mean, 60.3 at the minute. I mean, this is brilliant. I'm, I'm sorry I'm saying like I'm getting excited over miles per gallon, but when you expect a, a micro diesel to do a lot more than 57, maybe in the high 60s, and you get a petrol one litre car that just hammers it. I'm gonna say I'm, 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 a, I'm a convert really. But, you know, in terms of um, its road manners and stuff like that, I know I keep mentioning it, but going over bumps and stuff like that, because it's got quite thickish tires, you know, it's obviously got steel wheels on this with the rims, like plastic rims, and it is comfortable. And I, again, you know, I, I'd have no problem doing a long distance in this, because it, even though it is a small car, it feels slightly bigger. And with that comes comfort, and you know, it's not, even though there is road noise, which you can hear from the tyres, um, it's not too obtrusive. And the engine, I can't really hear the engine as much. And I've got to say, for that alone, it's brilliant. Now, I'm going to just go around this island to come back on myself um, and just see how it kind of nips around the island. And, just see how agile it is. I mean, the brakes aren't too grabby. They're a bit kind of not spongy, but you know, they're not as say grabby as something like a bit bigger, like the Kia Rio that we've got. But yeah, it goes around the island. It's, it's not as it, as I said, it's not as sharp as something like a Fiesta or something like that, or maybe a VW up. But it it goes around with no dramas really, and um, yeah, it's good. Now I'm just going to head back up to about 50. I'm in fourth gear at the minute, so 60, and it'll tell me to, it has got an indicator for going, I'm, I'm going to go up here, yeah, but uh, where you go up in the rev range. Now I'm at 70 mile an hour doing 3,000 revs, um, and currently 51.2 miles to the gallon, um, let's see if I can, I mean, I've done, it's saying I'm doing 99.9 .9 at the minute, get miles to the gallon, but I don't believe that. Um, yeah, that's more like it. 50, 50 miles to the gallon. I gotta say, this, this thing is, is economy personified at the minute for me. Um, yeah, it's going down now as I'm, I'm, I'm using the kind of real time miles per gallon now as opposed to what would be the average. And yes, yeah, it's, it's heading down to 35 now as I'm putting the, the foot down, but it's going back up again. So, so I'm giving you a bit of real time updates, but I just wanted you to understand how, how the economy of this car is. But yeah. 48.6 so if I just kept it at that I'd say that's a, that's a winner in my book the delivery the, uh, acceleration what there is with this one litre is smooth and I've got to say it's really good um, it's not choppy or it's not thrummy or anything like that so it is it is good um, I'm, I mean I'm kind of guessing it's definitely one litre I wouldn't have thought they would have given us a 1.2 pop but it is good um, and if I just go from 70, just a little bit higher, no, this, as I said, I'm slightly going up the hill. Yeah, it's, 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 you, you can't feel much acceleration here. I mean, it, oh, I am overtaking other cars. There's, yeah, it's just, it, it's, it's doing it very slowly now. There's no real kind of surge that you would probably hope to get if you are in a, a situation where you need to overtake. Um, but other than that, I've got to say, I, I am really impressed with this car. I mean, I, I enjoyed driving the Suzuki. There was a bit more technology to it with the, you know, Apple CarPlay and stuff like that. But, you know, if anything, I mean, I, I love the look of the Suzuki. But if I was if I was over looking for a brand new car and uh, I wanted the benefit of five, uh, seven years, pardon me, seven years warranty that you do get with these cars as well, then I'm going to say, other than going for a bit more higher spec model than this, um, you're onto a winner, really. I mean, I, I really like this car. I do. I really like it. And it'd be a shame when I give it back, <laughs> to be fair. And you never know, I might swap it for my micro. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very, very, very impressed with this car. It is great. No frills, motoring, just at its best, really. If you like the video, um, then please give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to the channel for further updates and to see our up and coming Kia uh, Rio video, then please click on the uh, subscribe and also click on the bell. I know it helps the channel uh, 
get a bit more further and wide and get, get more reach as it were. So please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.